Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring the new July card kit with My Favorite Things. I'm gonna show you some of the products that come in the kit, some that are coordinating, but here we go. We got the Sweet Summer Color Blends six by six paper pad. It's double-sided with the most dreamiest cotton candy, beautiful blended pattern paper. And then this one here is called the Sweet Dynamics. It's just a word die that spells out sweet. We have the Cotton Candy Cone Dynamics die set and then the Sweet Sticks. You can build some uh, cake pops and suckers and all that. And then we have the Something Sweet stamp set as well as an array of delicious solid color cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of these products to put together a little sweet card. First I started with the Sweet Sticks Dynamics die set and I cut apart everything and this really um, you can mix and match. I'm going to start with this uh, kind of craft or khaki cardstock that comes in the kit. I'm going to die cut that. It's going to be a lot of die cutting up front. These are the sticks like little popsicle sticks or cake pop sticks, sucker sticks, however you want to use it. Um, doing that out of craft and then I'm just going to start die cutting. I wasn't exactly sure where this was going to lead and how it was all going to come together but I just thought what if I do a bunch of um, like suckers and cake pops and, and just let the cards fall. Okay, and then we have here, um, this is going to be, you have these little toppers that almost like melted chocolate on a marshmallow. That's what I'm going to do here, like melted, like a chocolate dipped marshmallow pop, if you will. I'm not even sure if that exists, but I think it does. In my world today, it does. And then we're going to have all these cake pops in different colors, like a pink one, an orange one and uh, an aqua one. So I'm gonna take all these pieces off camera, run them through my die cutting machine. And because there are so many, I'm just gonna, you know, like I said before, it's, it's pretty die cut heavy in the beginning. You just die cut all these pieces and then you just glue them together and you have yourself a sweet old time, okay? So um, now for this one here, it's almost like one of those, you ever seen those suckers that are like twisted and they're tall and long? And I kind of use my uh, Easy C tape to hold that together. Um, in the end, it, I ended up just letting them all come apart. You're kind of lucky when all the pieces hold in the die because a lot of times it falls apart, you know? And uh, you can kind of put tape on it and try to keep it together. But uh, in the end, I just let them all go, just little separate pieces. And then you also have this little die that cuts little teeny little confetti dots, almost like little candy sprinkles or jimmies. What do you want to call them that you sprinkle on your cake pops or your cupcakes and whatnot just for color. And now this little twirly whirly sucker, I'm going to do it in just about every shade of that solid color cardstock that comes in the kit because I wanted to have little you know, rainbow suckers. Going to do another row of the little popsicle sticks. So we're going to have six sticks. I'm not sure what's going to go on those sticks, but we're going to figure it out as we go. Uh, and, you know, maybe six is too many, depending on how it all fits, but we'll, we'll see how it falls. So you can see the little cake pops here building. You got, I did the two different shades. So if you have a dark cake pop, do a lighter drippy frosting or vice versa and just have fun with it and then of course you get all these little sprinkles building up here it's just it's a good old candy loving time and now here i did a, a a batch of oranges i did some in darker and lighter shades um, i did have to dip into my solid color cardstock stash to find some coordinating colors you know maybe i needed a lighter shade of orange um, but i used the darker, brighter orange that came in the card kit. Sometimes you got to dip in and find something that coordinates with. Um, but most of all of this cardstock was part of the kit. And um, here's a little batch of yellow. And basically I'm doing this to build up that twirly, whir whirly rainbow sucker. And it's a little bit crazy what I'll do for a rainbow. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go to the edge of the earth just to have a rainbow on my projects. It's like, I can't sleep unless I do it. It just has to be done. You know what I mean? Just has, you have to, the heart wants what the heart wants. And that's just the bottom line. Okay, so now for the twirly whirly sucker, I did a base here. I'm doing a base out of white. Now see how they kind of fall out. 
I'm going to carefully, I flip the die over and I putting the piece back together, I wanted to have a base that was all intact. And then I could add the color pieces on the top, but I needed a base. And I, while that's flipped over, I added a strip of foam tape. I had some thin foam tape that was sized just right. If you don't have it, you can trim, trim a strip of foam tape thin enough to pit, put behind. And now you have a white base. And I did two of these. So I got two white twirly whirly sucker bases. And then I'll glue on the little um, solid color cardstock pieces on the base. I just, you know, there's probably a lot of different ways you could go about this. This is how my mind worked to do it. I found it to be the easiest. Now, one thing I will say, all these little individual twirly whirlies, they are not um, all the same. Every twirly whirly is different. So you kind of got to figure out when you're like for the green, I had to find the twirly whirly that fit in that spot. <laughs> so it took a little time, but I mean, in my opinion, it was absolutely worth it. So just keep in mind, all twirly whirlies are not equal, okay? And now for this one, just to shake it up, I did more of, um, well, you can see my ones there over to the right. Started with purple, and I went into the blues and ended with the green. So it's, it's not necessarily rainbow, but it's, uh, it's kind of a cool tone rainbow. You ever go to that? When I was little, there was a candy shop restaurant in our mall. I don't remember the name of it, but it, it was like an old fashioned candy shop, like the kind you see in Willy Wonka. And they had these suckers, those big twirly whirls and the big, huge round ones. And on special occasions, you know, you get one. And what I'd like to know is, has anyone ever finished one of those suckers? Has anyone ever finished one? Because that would be amazing. I've, I've never even like gone halfway down. Okay, now cake pops. Has anybody ever had a cake pop? Have you ever made cake pops? I've never made them. I have had them. Sometimes when my daughters go to Starbucks, they'll, they'll get like when it's a special birthday or something, they'll get a cake pop with their little uh, frappuccino. Now here's the chocolate dipped uh, marshmallow. And, and now I'm adding little dots of liquid glue. I'm using Barely Arts glue and my little embellishment wand. And I'm adding those little confetti, what do you call them, jimmies, um, to the top of the cake pops. I mean, why not? If you're going to go, you might as well go hard. Like you might as well go full throttle Willy Wonka. That's my motto, right? And speaking of Willy Wonka, have you seen Willy Wonka? There's two now. There's the old fashioned, the perfect old fashioned movie. And then there's the new one with Johnny Depp. Now, which one do you like better? I got to say the old one is for me. The, I just love the old one. I mean, you can't beat it. I forget the name of the guy. I should know his name, but uh, anywho, we're going full throttle Willy Wonka with the jimmies on the cake pops and the chocolate dip marshmallows. And then now we're gluing on all these little candies and sweets onto those popsicle sticks or sucker sticks. Um, little dab of glue. This is what nice when you have a little bit of that precision tip glue for this intricate type of work and the embellishment wand makes it so much easier. And, um, okay, so I have a lot going on here. I was thinking, Laura, are you going to be able to fit this all on one card? Uh, maybe this is going to have to be split into two different cards. Maybe you need to make a slim line, like a long one, so you can fit all this on. But I was having fun, and that really is what it's all about. Okay, for the background, we're going to use a sheet of that Sweet Summer Color Blends 6x6 paper pad. I'm going to trim this down just a smidge i believe i did it uh five inches wide by something i like to have a little border around the edge can't remember the measurements but a little uh tape runner on the back of this pattern paper and i didn't pop it up but i am going to pop up all the little candies so i wanted to you know kind of rein in my dimension here i'm getting the lay of the land i'm just laying everything down to see if i can actually fit it all on or if it's going to be too busy too much uh, you know if you want to make this a simpler card you don't have to do so many candies but if you want to live your life full throttle willy wonka then you live your life full throttle willy wonka i have some of these little foam squares and i'm just putting a little bit of foam tape 
on the back of these things. I'm not worrying about putting any adhesive on the stick part. It's kind of just hanging free. I mean, if you want to try, if you would like to try to cut a little sliver to fit, by the way, I trimmed down one of these popsicle sticks really short to glue behind these tall twirly whirly suckers. You just need a little bit. And now the foam tape that I'm using behind the suckers, the twirly whirly ones, it's a little bit thicker than the cake pops. So it kind of sticks out a little bit more. You got that little added play on dimension with the different thicknesses of foam tape. That was not planned. That was just a happy little accident. And uh, there you have everything glued down. Now, instead of adding embellishments, I decided just to add those little extra confetti uh, candy jimmies around and about. Just why not? Did I overdo it? Could be. I was thinking in my mind, it, you're bordering on getting busy, Laura. Getting too busy. But I had fun. Now, the Sweet Dynamics Word Die, I decided to die cut that out of some white glitter cardstock. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is white glittery, so it looks like it's kind of covered in sugar. And I make it a little more substantial, I went ahead and die cut three more just out of white cardstock, and I'm gonna stack these up. I'm using liquid glue. You could also use spray adhesive or some of those micro dot adhesive sheets. A lot of different ways that make it very easy to stack up intricate word dies. Since this word die is so kind of dainty, stacking it up makes it a little more substantial, a little bit more durable on your card so it doesn't bend, it's not so fragile, and it just gives a little extra shadow. And I've just like, I've been stacking die cuts since the cows come home, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon, but there are times when I just don't have the energy to stack it up, and that's okay too. So you just do whatever toots your flute. A little bit of glue on the back of this, and I'm just going to slap it down right in, right in that sweet spot. No pun intended, but it's kind of free, free floating there, but it's, it's adhered to the twirly-whirly circles. And now I'm going to emboss this sentiment. There's a lot of fun kind of coordinating candy sweet sentiments in this something sweet stamp set. But I chose this one that had the word your, like Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. And I'm going to pair that with the word sweet. So it's like your sweet. But there's a lot of extra words in this sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and emboss it in white on some of that purple cardstock that came in the kit. And then I'm going to trim it out so that I only have the word your. And now you could cut your sentiment, but it didn't seem quite necessary to go that extreme. I thought I'll go ahead and just emboss it and then carefully trim out the word that I want. So I got my little mini guillotine trimmer here, which helps you. You could also just do this with scissors, but I find when I use a guillotine, I have a better chance of keeping it nice and straight. A little bit of foam tape, nestle it right there where I want that sentiment to go, using some tweezers to just kind of tuck that your right above the sweet and that's it that's all there is i'm not going to add any more embellishments i feel like this card is busy enough like it's given me cavities already but i love it it's given me willy wonka all day long and i'm here for it i hope you enjoyed this video make sure and check out the new july card kit with my favorite things have a wonderful day and i will see you next time